What is going on everyone? It is Fatal Reaper today bringing you a video and today we're on the HP Pavilion once again and we're going to be doing a video on why it's probably one of the best um, laptops or best budget laptops of 2020 and going into 2021. Before we start guys be sure to hit that like button and subscribe it really helps me out and I really appreciate it so let's go ahead and get into the video. So the only laptop that I do have come to compare it to today is this little Chromebook here and the Chromebook here is obviously you can see this is like a I believe this is like a hundred dollar Chromebook hundred fifty dollar so this is the lessest thing I can compare it to the only laptop that I do have in my disposal other than this one um, I have had some pretty good laptops in the past I've had an Acer um, laptop it was pretty simple it was like 250 300 dollars wasn't too bad um, it could play you know small small games but you know I bought this laptop the HP Pavilion here for basically just editing and stuff like that never thought it would be able to actually play the games Especially let alone cyberpunk and stuff like that. So it's really amazed me to that point. Um, so here in just a second, we're going to click over to my desktop. And we're going to be showing you some other laptops like the Acer Nitro and a few others. And just kind of comparing them again, guys. This laptop does have a 9th Gen i5 quad-core processor. Uh, 9300 to be exact. It has a 15.6 inch display. It has an 8 gigabyte of RAM and is upgradable to 16 gigabyte RAM. 256 gigabyte SSD and you can upgrade that SSD as well. And then it does top off with a GTX 1650 graphics card, which is pretty good. Pretty good hardware, especially for what you're paying for. There have been Black Friday ads as low as $400 even for this computer now. Uh, so, and I got it for $580 to be exact. So it is a very good laptop, especially for the price. You're just really not going to beat it or anything like that. So here, guys, we're going to switch over to this. In this segment, guys, I'm showing you the other uh, laptops I would thought. I picked out two. So this laptop is, uh, this video is really just going over the HP Pavilion, the Acer Nitro, and the Razer Blade 15. So the Acer Nitro is pretty much identical to the HP Pavilion. So for you guys, I've had a lot of questions of people asking me, what's better? You know, what would you go with? Personally, it comes down to personal preference at that uh, that that point. I would definitely uh, suggest, you know, you do your research on your own and really look of what you are going for and what you need. And, you know, it can come down to even something as simple as the keyboard. You know, that red keyboard may look better to you than the green keyboard. For instance, I like the green, but I also do like the red a lot. And I do kind of like the Acer Nitro and how it looks. Uh, but that being said, they're pretty much identical in every way. They have the same RAM, the same processor, and the same graphics card, and even the same SSD. So other than that, it really comes down to maybe probably a few little things. I would say they're neck and neck. Really just comes down to your personal preference. But I would highly recommend the Acer Nitro as well. It seems to be a very good laptop uh, in general as well. So um, I will be having a link down in the description below for the Acer Nitro and the HP Pavilion if you guys want to compare prices and just see that for yourself. So the next laptop we're going to be looking at is something really, really uh, expensive. Uh, more on the high side for you guys who are looking for just a downright beast of a gaming laptop. And I would probably definitely pull you over here to say the Razer Blade 15. It's one I've done a lot of research on and everything. Razer makes some really good products. I have a Razer keyboard, Razer mouse. I have had. I also have a Razer webcam, and I've had a few Razer headsets. Razer's always been good, and I've always liked their products. So this one in general would probably be no exception. Would probably be uh, or would be an except or no exception, and probably be really good as well. So this is a sixteen hundred dollar gaming laptop, and this is just about the price of what my PC and all the stuff costs. It does have a two hundred and forty hertz monitor with an i seven, just like uh, just like my um, well, actually, I have a Ryzen 7, but that would probably be close to the equivalent um, that's in my main PC. And I do have a 2070 Super instead of an RTX 2070. So my graphics card would be better than that. And it has a 512 gigabyte SSD and to top it off with a 16 gigabyte RAM. So for you guys who were like really, really wanting a uh, like high-end laptop, this would probably be more on your speed, something like this. Um, I definitely, there are definitely more out there than just this, but the Razer Blade here would probably be really, really good and probably run games just as good, if not a little bit better than my setup that I have now on my PC. With that, guys, uh, with that being said, guys, you know, that's pretty my personal, pretty much my personal opinion on these laptops and everything and what's probably the best for you would depend on you. So this is strictly my opinion and stuff like that. The HP Pavilion has been a great laptop, and if you're looking to get one starting out a good gaming laptop, it is definitely 
one of the best budget gaming laptops for 2020. Going into 2021, there's a lot more of them as just as well, but the HP Pavilion is one of the best, as long with the Acer Nitro. And this one here, to top it off, is just kind of a really, really big one for you guys who really want maybe a high-end, high-end laptop. But the Acer Nitro is just as good as the HP Pavilion, if not better, or neck and neck. I would say they're highly neck and neck. They're pretty much the same things, and you can get different variants. People don't uh, really stop and think about that. There are different variants of each laptop, so like the HP Pavilion has better variants where it has better graphics card etc is just as well as the HR Nitro it has one probably with a 2070 just like it has one with a 1050 just like the HP Pavilion does so at the end of the day make sure you do re your research and make sure you are looking for what you want and make sure you um, are looking for other videos and other th other things like that. Again, two uh, two links down in the description below for the Acer Nitro and the HP Pavilion. And guys, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments down below if you want to see some more like this and more some comparisons. I will be trying to get my hands on an Acer Nitro to do a video for you guys here in probably the next six months if I can. Uh, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like, uh, like button and subscribe. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.